Well, yeah, there, there is a difference within the gangsters in the book and in real life. But most importantly, within the book, if you remember a year or so mm -hmm. ago when we talked about uh, the prior book, Levels, uh, I talked about how that character, mm -hmm. Tom Alden, was living sort of as if he was going through a, a, an assortment of TV episodes, whether it was the Twilight Zone or the Prisoner type thing. Yes. And instead mm -hmm. of giving the scenes where, where we have the hero battling the villain or whatnot, oftentimes I'd have a chapter start of, with, with Tom Alden coming back from a village, say, and, and saying, oh, you mm -hmm. know, we just had an adventure, and now he's talking about it. Yeah. In the same way, yeah. the scenes in this book are different than in the Vincetti Brothers and the Norwegian the Family. In there, you got to see all, the, all of the little machinations. Uh, you, you, got to, you, you get to see the, the violence in image. Whereas here, uh, we're more or less talking about violence and about things that happened. It's in the past. There are two scenes, for example, in the Greco, mm. uh, on the Greco side, where Joey Greco uh, is first tortured by some uh, some uh, government officials, and then later, or, or he's touched, and then earlier he's he's the torturer trying to get information, and he eventually gets mm. replaced. That there's actually two Joey Grecos. There's the real Joey Greco, and then there's yes. a fake Joey Greco who we don't really know what his real name is. We just get bits and snippets of his past, and then on the on the Sally T side. For example, I took the Limey trope of the great film called The Limey that I recently uh, re yes, yes, the show yes. on, where I have someone coming back into Joey, uh, into Sally's life, and Sally uh, wants to kill him. And then all of a sudden, the character of my doppelganger in the book called Little Danny, Little Danny, L-I-L, L-I, yeah, yeah. Little Danny, uh, somehow miraculously shows up at just the right moment. In, in a movie kind of way to say, no, Sally, you're wrong. Don't kill this guy because this happened. It was all a setup because of this. And so, so just it, it, that moment, for example, in that Sally T thing where he doesn't kill the guy who he thinks killed, not his real son, but a kid that he helped raise with a girlfriend uh, is the kind of thing that to me is more interesting than going through all those machinations. Now I could have done that things. I could have done the same thing, approach these incidents in the lives of, Joey Greco and Sally T in the same ways as I did in the Manchetti brothers and a Norwegian and the family. But why would I do that? I already did that. Well, we know what's going to happen. And if you know the genre, it's like, if you know, cowboy films with John Wayne, you know, John Wayne is going to swoop in at the end. So if you, if let's say I was directing a film about the making of a John Wayne film, I would probably try to do it in a meta way that the director of a particular mm -hmm. film would try to deconstruct, why do I have to do John, Will, John Wayne films all the same way? And in the same way, you don't want to do everything. I mean, there's plenty of violence, there's talk of violence, there's, there's stuff, but it's more interesting for me to talk about characters like there's a father and son in here called the Dreamers, Tommy, Sclafani, Junior, yeah. and Senior, who are basically a couple of not too bright guys who, who occasionally say interesting and intelligent things, but who are always looking at the clouds. 